Alright hey guys, um, I haven't been posting the past couple of days, and this one here is just telling you why. Um, basically, I've been on vacation. Um, so, yeah, we left the 15th. It's really the 18th where I am. I'm in Yellowstone, or really um, out in Idaho. It's um, thousand island park i know um but we've been staying there driving over the other zone every single day and we would leave like seven o'clock and not get back until like eight nine ish after like sunset every single day and then just tired days just filled of hiking driving all over the place. Um, Yellowstone's huge. So that's why I haven't been recording because I literally don't have time. Um, in fact, it's 1120 here. And we are going to Grand Tetons the next two days and then to Salt Lake City and then fly out on Saturday. So, we still have a couple days left, but I'll just tell you what our kind of trips entailed. Um, first day, we went to like the upper part, northern uh, loop kind of thing. So, I don't have a map with me, but uh, we come in for west, get to Madison, and then. I think the first thing we did was Norris, and then we head up all the way to Tower Junction, I think, and then I kind of forget how it goes, but uh, basically we hit Gardner, Montana, which is a town on the northern end, the arch there. Um, Mammoth Hot Springs, uh, Norris Geyser, um, Tower, all that kind of stuff. Pretty much the Norm Park Park. Besides, not going into Lamar Valley, it we really didn't even have time. Um, we stopped quite a couple times, two times actually, going for Hayden Valley, or we went through Hayden Valley twice. Um, yeah, a ton of bison there. Both days, herds of bison. Um, so then second day, we hit up Old Faithful, Upper Geyser, Lower Geyser, Midway Geyser Basin. All that's right there, the summer kind of end. And then we would go. We went to West Fum, Lake Village, Grand Canyon, and back to Norris, and then the Madison again. So, kind of the southern Grand ish And then today, we just hit up Grand Prismatic's Overlook Trail. Um, it's strenuous. Or, not too bad. Not one of the, it's... Pretty nice view way up there. Uh, but one thing is always keep an eye out for animal tracks because um, literally today there was a bison right in the middle of a hot spring basin. It wasn't in the actual hot spring, but it was right there. The bison, um, there's an arc, there's they don't care, basically, what the temperature is. So, if it's 100 degrees, they're out. If it's like 30 degrees, they're out. Um, elk, they're actually the most... Uh, or That's the biggest population, animal population park, elk. Um, 
think we definitely saw a bald eagle first day upper right around mammoth um the river right there gardner river um it's pretty cool um but there's been a headline you guys probably have heard um the there was a bison incident here um and it was over at lake lodge where we were yesterday and today um and i could totally see why someone would get attacked there because um it's like right on the the lake and there's like a cliff that comes up and over um there was a bison right on the beach like a 15 foot cliff it just didn't care it just climbed right down it apparently um yeah so don't be everywhere keep your eyes open um but we never had any of that we had a one bison cross the road on us and that was just today but it we were far away we were huge herd watching a huge herd and then just one male just decided to cross the road we almost saw an incident the second day because literally someone was 10 feet from a bison And you take your phone and you just get a picture from uh, 75 feet or 25 yards away. Being 10 foot from it is the exact same picture. Um, there's really no reason to get that close. Because it's running season and these bison don't care. If if you threaten them, or if they feel threatened, they're going to charge. Luckily, they weren't injured. Uh, but, I mean, guys, don't do that. Please, don't do that. Uh, so, nice thing. Today, um, hit up call point. It's a pretty cool loop on the lake right there. And I might have had, I had a couple lifers on this trip. First thing is, um, Sandhill Crane of all things. I actually haven't seen them in a while. Um, possible body or possible golden eagle. And one thing I really want to see and might have, I don't know, is a um, tiger salamander. And these things are the only salamanders in the park, but they're so cool. They're like literally this big, um, full ground. One of the biggest salamanders you go out or see. Uh, but they're really, really cool. And I might have had one today. Um, but that's kind of just a general overlook of what we've done. Um, another, we did see two rare things. Um, a, first thing was like actually really early on, um, in Norse Geyser, I saw a lizard. And there's only one species of lizard in Norse Geyser and I think Midway Geyser. Some are Geyser, but there's only two areas you could spot one. And I definitely saw one. Uh, they're very rare. So that was cool. And uh, mating Trumpner swans, we actually saw. Um, a lot of people pulling off at a lake called Swan Lake. I fall off things. Looked over and 
saw a lot of people went up, asked what's going on. They say, um, Trump or Swan, uh, first time in 70 years he has made it successfully in the park. Which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, tons of stories. Stories, tons of things uh, to talk about. I will have updates soon. I've been taking videos and I'm going to combine them all into like a giant video of my travels. Um, so that'll be coming out soon after my trip. But we're hitting up Grand Tetons, we're hitting up Delta Lake. I think. Not tomorrow, but the next day. So, be pretty cool. Alright, guys. Um, so, I've just given you guys just a general, uh, just telling you what's going on. Why I'm not recording. Um, but it's getting late. I gotta get going. So, I'll see you guys later. See you.